Hi, welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. This is kind of a bonus video. We're gonna go get an Apple Vision Pro today. Why? You'll see later. Pieces. I'm just filming. It's for the vlog. I'm doing the vlog today. I have to vlog this. How do you do? Of all the things to vlog, this is the most vloggable thing ever. This is like a full-on stand. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna put it on that. Polishing cloth, so it comes with a polishing cloth. So we can clean it. Jim Jim, clean my glasses, Jim Jim. <laughs> Instructions, so we'll get back to these in a minute. Uh, this is a second headband. So it comes with two headbands, and then this one, um, has two loops, so you, this is the one that you put like around the back and over the top. People say this one is more comfortable for long-term use. I'm inclined to believe that. Here's the first battery. Braided charging cable, 30 watt USB-C brick. Another light seal cushion. It's a lot of stuff. I wanna set all this stuff aside. We also got another battery. And then this should just... Yeah, just like that, come right off. Free this from its plastic prison. Gosh, it's so good looking. Like, it looks so good. Reveal your secrets. Gosh, it's so pretty. It looks so good. Let's, let's, let's look. Okay. So I'll just pull it on like this. It's tight. Now I can't see anything. Oh, it's turning on. Press and hold to align. Alrighty, it's aligned with my eyes now. It gave me a check mark. So I guess like, you just disappeared. <laughs> okay, now I know what you guys are thinking. Tessera, why did you spend $3,500 on an overpriced space potato that you attach to your face? Well, I, that's a perfectly reasonable question, and I think I have a perfectly reasonable answer. Uh, there are a few personal reasons why we decided to look into one of these and why we actually went through with it, which is ironic because my dad and I are, were the kinds of people to make fun of this when it first came out, as most, uh, mostly everybody did the same thing. But uh, there are three reasons right now that I can just pinpoint off the top of my head. The first one is multitasking. I suck at remembering things. And being able to integrate things from this tech world into the real world and help to remember stuff that I just usually don't think about, like putting timers above things to remember that, oh yeah, you have to do this. Or like putting a reminder on top of the Gunpower SMT to remember to turn that thing on when I start filming a video so that I have something for the firing demo rather than just shooting at that stupid red, white, and blue target over there. It's pretty helpful. The second one is video editing, except that one didn't really work because I haven't put iMovie on it yet, so I have to subscribe to freaking Splice, my arch nemesis that prevented me from making good quality videos for years. I'll tell you all that story later. And finally, the last reason is so that you guys can see this. <laughs> Yeah, so if you don't understand yet, the best firing demos that will probably ever exist in any nerf review on YouTube. You're talking about firing the blaster through my eyeballs themselves, through all these cameras on this headset. There is no better way to really get an understanding of what a blaster is like to use than being able to actually see what I'm seeing 
playing with the blaster. And that also means that I'm no longer limited to just standing on that side of the room with the camera behind me. Firing demos from now on are going to consist of small obstacle courses that take place through this room in order to try and hit targets with the blaster. And that's how the firing demos are going to be. Firing demos are going to be like a full part of the video from now on, rather than just the segment that I put in because I have to put in a firing demo of a blaster before I can get to my opinion on it. And I think that that is going to be a huge improvement on my content from this moment forwards. So that's really something to be excited about, I think. So why do I hate Splice so much? It's very simple. This application used to be free with some extra features that you could pay for, but then they did this update where they started adding everything that was free behind the paywall. So I got access to less and less features that were free that you now have to pay for. And not only do you have to pay for them, you have to pay individual little subscriptions for every single effect and every single thing you want to use. It's agonizing trying to function with Splice. I hated using that software so much because of how hard it was to navigate and how hard it was to use once they put their stupid premium thing up. I, I'm not going back to Splice. I will just continue editing with my phone, thank you. But yeah, if you guys are excited for the future of Tessera's Nerf Room content, let me know in the comments. And yes, I am very happy with this thing. I think that it was worth all the money that we spent on it.